Hello, my name is Leopold Armesto and in this presentation we are going to continue by learning how to program with Facilino and particularly we are going to implement a temperature control on the living room of our intelligent house with energy saving policy. So this is the outline of the presentation, we are going to review the living room electronics and also uh, we are going to review the logic table in order to implement this energy saving policy and then we're going to move to the exercise in which I will uh, show you how to program with Facilino uh, the living room for the temperature control. So these are the electronics or the proposed electronics that we use for the living room. We have a temperature sensor, the NTC sensor, it's a thermistor which is connected to pin A2. Then we have a heater and a mini fan. The, the heater it's to provide a uh, of course heat and the mini fan uh, it's to inject uh, uh, air from, uh, from the ground of the, the passive house. They are connected to pins D3 and D6 because they are PWM pins. And then we have a living room servo that controls a window which is connected to pin D2. We have uh, the, the, the proposed circuit electronic uh, as you can see here in the diagram on, on Fritzin but also we have the equivalent circuit in Tinkercad for our simulations as you can see there on the, on the image on the right. And in order to implement a, a policy for considering energy saving, uh, we have prioritized uh, the fact that opening the window has a low cost in terms of energy, then the next level for our actuators will be the fan which is injecting air from the ground temperature and then the energy or the more en demanding energy system will be the heater okay and based on this uh, based on the temperatures that we measure from the room with the NTC sensor the ground temperature will which will be fixed the set point temperature will be specified by the user and the outside sen the temperature that will be measured uh, um, or supposedly will be measured uh, from a web service uh, uh, then we can decide which of these actuators we can use and as you can see we are trying to use as much as possible uh, to open or close the window and based on these decisions colored in green which are the uh, energy more or the more uh, energy efficient and then we have uh, some decisions that in which we we uh, activate or deactivate the the the, the fan and another uh, decisions another decisions in which we activate the heater there are um, a situation or there are indeed there are six situations in which we cannot actually control the temperature but because the set point is below any other uh, temperature that we, we can control and since we have no cooling act active cooling system then there's no way to actually uh, control or to, to reach this set point temperature but at least we will move from this situation to this situation until a situation in which the room is at least close to, uh, to the ground temperature or the outside temperature depending and uh, that's the minimum temperature we can reach. Okay so uh, now let's focus on programming. So the idea first is to uh, implement four functions in order to control the heater, the fan and the windows but also to deactivate all the actuators and for that we have implemented these uh, functions here. Of course values can be adjusted uh, so the fan and the heater they do not have to be 100% okay but in these examples we, we do it like that and of course the window angles might be adjusted depending on how you uh, actually uh, configure uh, the servo on the real um, house but basically by implementing these four functions then we can call them and depending on the decision we, we need to do we will uh, of course execute these instructions then here you can see uh, the actual implementation of the logic table in which we want to implement uh, an energy saving, um, efficient energy saving policy in which we prioritize the use of the window with respect to the fan and with respect to the, the heater and for that we assume that we have 
measure here they are constant okay we assume that there there um, there are some constants that we uh, initialize and uh, some in a, in, a, in a different part of the code we will set these values but here these these are the initial values and depending on the temperatures that we uh, we we get then we deactivate the the all the actuators we in this case uh, activate uh, the heater uh, here we have uh, the activation of the fan or the activation of the window and in order to actually the only temperature that we are actually reading within the house right now it's the the temperature inside the room the, the other temperatures will be provided by the user to the USB serial port and we do that by using this code here in the loop of our uh, 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 code so that we read the temperature and then we call the controller function that we saw before so let's see this uh, on an example in which we're going to uh, specify some temperatures and uh, we will see how it works okay so this is uh, in this case I need uh, I need the console so I need to move here and use a serial monitor and let me prepare everything okay so right now uh, let me start the simulation okay so right now the temperature here is 25 so uh, let's put it to 34 degrees something like this more or less yeah uh, 35 okay and now let's try to provide the temperatures uh, for uh, in this case it's uh, uh, let me uh, for the uh, it was for the outside temperature the set point temperature and ground temperature in order okay so outside temperature will be 29 degrees and then the set point temperature will be 24 degrees and the uh, ground temperature is fixed to 19 degrees okay and in this case that will make let me once I click enter that will make for this particular uh, configuration that will make uh, the fan to rotate so if I click enter the fan has activated okay and this is uh, probably uh, the fan is on the windows is closed and the heater is off this is what we see in the, in the console okay so now let me try a different configuration in which try uh, let's say 26 23 and 19 okay and in this case i will open the window sorry uh, temperature ah, sorry I need to in this case the temperature should be 21 so if temperature in the room is 21 or 22 it's fine if I repeat so it's uh, 26 23 for outside uh, set point temperature and 19 for ground temperature then in this case we open the window and you can see that the fan and the heater are off okay now let me try with this same with the same temperature let me try to put a uh, uh, outside temperature at 14 uh, set point temperature 24 and ground temperature this and that will uh, activate uh, in this case the heater so it will close the window and the heater will be on and the fan is off okay and uh, let me try a different policy or a different case in which we have here 17 17 and in this case let me try 25 for outside 15 as a set point temperature and 19 okay so the set, set point temperature is below what uh, what we can reach and in this case what we do is we set the heater off the fan off and the window is closed so at least we can reach as close as possible or at least we don't uh, lose a uh, temperature and we are not reaching the set point temperature but at least we keep the, 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 the room temperature as it is 
Okay, so in this presentation, I have introduced an energy, energy saving policy in order to control the temperature uh, of the living room with Fatalino. Thank you very much.